You're inside the University of Southern California's Aviation Institute Accident Lab. Uh, tell me what they do there, Stephanie. Well, Brooke, it's amazing. They've got wreckage of other plane accidents here and they're saying when you take a look at accidents you learn so much from it and once you learn what something looks like you don't forget it. I want to introduce you to Michael Barr. He's a aviation safety expert and Michael when you take a look at like the cockpit of this plane for example when does your investigation begin? Actually when I actually cross the field when I first see the airplane and the wreckage I'm starting my investigation right there and it starts to tell me you know, how the airplane impacted, where it impacted. And so looking at this, I mean, this cockpit is decimated. It is, it is extremely decimated when you look at this. What can you tell from this one? Well, it tells me already that it hit it on the right side of the nose and it was a pretty uh, a high angle descent and it, watch the nose is just bent to the left. So now I know that and I want to confirm that by going back and looking at the fuselage. Okay, so now when you take a look at your investigations and we're going to the fuselage, do you, are you examining what the humans who are in control of the plane were doing at the same time as you're looking at the plane? How do you break it down? No. I'm going to break this down to just mechanical, okay. just the parts. Somebody else will look at the human while I'm doing this. And I'll break this down into subparts. You know, you got to bite this at a small bite at a time. Don't get overwhelmed by all what you see here. But so for me, I have an untrained eye. Looking at this, this is extremely overwhelming how much damage happened to this plane. But to you, it's not that way, right? No. No, but uh, I know how it hit. I know approximately it, uh, the impact as far as uh, the force. I can go back and look at the wings and I can tell by how they're bent and how they're mouth shaped. And, and sooner or later, I will break this down to find out if there's any mechanical problems. In this case, there was absolutely no mechanical problems. This aircraft stalled due to icing conditions and it was a human error and not a mechanical error. And when it comes to mini plane accidents, is it easy to discern once you get this much of a plane to, to discern if it was human problem or if it was mechanical problems? I would say it's never easy, but I could do the majority of the time. I will come up with a probably a 90 to 95% chance of what happened in this aircraft accident. And you can do that even if you don't have all the parts or does that make it, that's a part of the, the, the puzzle, if you will, that makes it hard. I will never have all the parts, never. But hmm. the more parts I get, it's like a mosaic. The more bits I can put into the mosaic, the better my picture will be, the better the picture, the better I can come up with a, an understanding of what happened. And so, so, Brooke, when you think about it, talking to Michael, he was saying that, you know, when you look at all these pieces, it, it, everyone wants to find those black boxes, those flight data recorders. But really, when you take a look at all of this together, it tells him so much in their investigation that they can learn from that so that if they find the wreckage but they don't find those black boxes, they still might be able to do it. Uh, I have another question for you, but I saw... did. did did we lose her? We have her. Okay, there we see you. We see you because I'm I, here. I'm still I was here. hanging. I was hanging on Michael. Michael's every word because my next question would be as he talks about the, this mosaic with the triple seven. I mean, this is a major, major uh, jet. Finding all those pieces, a, I'm wondering how much of a challenge that is, and b, um, f uh, trying to figure out the, the 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 genesis of a crash, water versus land. Water versus land. So what Brooke wants to know is basically when you take a look at this is all of those pieces and, and how you compare that to like this is a much smaller plane, but all of those pieces putting it together and also a plane that lands on land versus a crash that happens in the water and how you work with that. The crash on the land is much easier because mm -hmm. the parts stay where they landed. In the water, you're working with currents and winds and so the pieces won't be where they have the initial impact. So water is much more difficult. The deeper the water, the more difficult. We have other accidents that happen in the shallow water. We got most of the pieces back. But deep water, we had a very, very hard time doing that. And then also just because of the silt at the bottom of the, of the ocean as well and how pieces could be buried in there too, Brooke. It's amazing actually that they've learned so much from these wreckages and that they're able to take so much from it. But each little plane, each part that they see, they can look at things immediately before they even touch the plane and can tell you what happened. It's an amazing science.